And tonight with continuing coverage of the loss of an iconic building in Southwest Rockford. The building went up in flames yesterday. You see it behind us. That building housed Yanitos Auto. It's now a total loss. Rockford Fire says it caused $400,000 in damage. Firefighters say workers were inside the building at the time of the fire, but were able to escape. One person and three firefighters have minor injuries. Five cats died in that fire. It is still not clear what caused it. That building has roots that stretch back almost 90 years. A Rockford woman whose family used to own the building on South Main Street had details of its rich history. 13 News reporter Richard Bodie has more. After hours of fighting this fire at Yanitos Auto, this is all that remains of a 90-year-old piece of Rockford history. That symbol of it still standing is a symbol of strength mm -hmm. in the face of adversity and also a symbol of what the beginning was. The beginning is what Alicia Neubauer will remember when she thinks of this building. Her grandfather, Antonino Parisi, owned it in 1931, and he had quite a story of his own. A Sicilian immigrant that didn't speak any English, Parisi was a boxer in the Roaring Twenties and changed his name. From Antonino Parisi to Sam Paris so that his parents and his brothers did not know that he was actually boxing. Eventually, Sam Paris started a family with his wife Mary and they owned Paris Auto. Paris built an apartment upstairs and for 50 years he lived there and raised his family. Well, it's devastation. I mean, that's my child. That's my, that's my childhood. My mother just died in February. Now her, her childhood home is getting erased. And it's not the only historic building on South Main Street that Rockford's lost to a fire. The historic Hanley building was destroyed in 2017. Then just a few months ago in September, the same happened to this building that stood for more than a century. Rockford Fire District Chief Luis Duran says once a fire breaks out in an old building, it's tough to save it. Being old, oftentimes they're vacant. Oftentimes, they, when they, you know, when they were erected or, or constructed, they were constructed when, when we didn't have codes, we didn't have standards. And in the case of this fire, the building was still a working auto repair shop full of flammable materials that could fuel the flames. Uh, it really does pose different hazards to our firemen and they, our firefighters, and it, they tend to burn. Not only do they burn longer, but they burn hotter. Neubauer says while the building is gone and Rockford just lost another piece of history, her memories will last forever, and she hopes the area doesn't lose any more of its historic buildings because it can never get them back. For your 13 Weather Authority, Richard Bodie, 13 News. And 13 WREX spoke with a family member of the current owners who say they were too emotional to go on camera, but says the family is devastated by the loss.